Alright guys, so yesterday was actually day 62, I just messed up in my log, but today, day 63, I weighed 187.4, might be a sign of plateauing now that we're not losing as much weight, but we'll see what happens throughout the rest of the week, and then act accordingly. If I can hit my consistent run, then I'm straight. Now, I'm con contemplating doing like two on, one off, uh, except with a run throughout. Um, just to see if I can recover and run better, but we've got the last pack of blackberries right here We got banana and then 40 grams of oatmeal. All right guys, so day 63 We're going to be eating my pre-workout meal. We've got 11.5 ounces of tilapia And I figured I might as well show you guys what the physique is looking like right now I don't really know. Actually. I haven't really even checked myself out today. So this will be a surprise for the two of us uh, so this is what we're looking like right now. Definitely getting leaner, but man, just gotta hit a consistent week and then we should be good, to be honest. Hit a consistent week, see how the body reacts to the consistent week of uh, lifting and stuff, and then go from there. But we're definitely making progress. This is probably what I looked like when I was like 170 after my first bowl. To be honest, this is what I was looking like. A little bit plumper, probably like this. Yeah, this is what I looked like when I was 172 last year. Now I look like this at 187.2 or 0.4 this morning. So it'll be interesting to see where we end up. It is what it is. I'm going to go eat. I'm going to eat up. And then I'll pick you guys back up at the gym. All right, guys. So I think today what we're going to try to do is we're going to try to do 200 for 15 for four sets. Take more of like a uh, same approach you would for something like your shoulders or your bicep. And the main reason for that is is because honestly I'm too strong for this to really like build up for strength per se because 200 is just too light. It's the starting weight, you know what I mean? Which means I've outgrown this place as far as the shoulder and chest press goes. We're going to do the same thing on the chest press. And I don't know how I feel about it because that means I might have to go out to like a plant fitness or some other public commercial gym or even a private one, but I don't know if I'm ready for that because I don't feel comfortable recording something public like this. But right. hey, you know it is what it is, man. Right, we're gonna try to do 200 for 15, four sets, might even do five sets, which is 75 reps, which is a lot. But what, how else can I get hypertrophy? You know what I mean? So let's go. Talk about burnout. All oh right, all oh right. I set this stuff burns. Why is that burn now? All right. You can see my ribcage in my shirt now. Yeah, that was fire. 
the work. I feel like my son was just giving me payback. Like, what oh, would you put in this through? <laughs> All right, third set, try not to push myself.
Sometimes creatures roll these forties, but then the boom. Roll rip. Quick arm check though. I'm definitely gaining some size, getting leaner, all that good stuff. And now for the rear belts. Should really start wearing better shirts for this. And then we got 15 on that. One more for good measure. <laughs> All right, time for the last set of the circuit. We got our body right here. Bada bing and bada boom. I'm a lot stronger now that we eat all that tilapia prior. So we're gonna keep doing that. But I don't know if I'm gonna the plateau or not. I really do, I know. Believe that was five. It's another three. My arms will be tired though. Alright, side belts. Definitely, I'm definitely getting leaner. Like that's non-negotiable, you can see by my arm. And just like overall body structure, it's just hard to tell how fast I'm progressing or not, you know. What the arms are looking like, a little pumped up. 
<laughs> we don't need to know that looks good. But this is what the arms are looking like. You know, now we got to run though, which is not lit, but as you guys know, very necessary evil for me, but definitely getting leaner, seeing more separation. Mm -hmm. So, gotta keep going. All right, so day 63 or 64, whatever it is. After 0.2 miles, I actually had to stop at 0.2 to go to the bathroom. So we did that, came back, instantly ripped off a of 0.4, so we were at 0.6. And it ended up adding up just right. Uh, I think at 1.8, I believe, I actually did another 0.2 to round it off because I had to go to another bathroom break during the run, which is fine. That's like a sign your body is perfectly healthy. You know, if you're uh, going to the bathroom. Cause sometimes, man, during the wrestling season, you'll go weeks without getting <laughs> shit. This is what it is, but I hope after this week, you know, every day, passing day, we uh, consistently lose weight. Whether that's bone density, muscle mass, weight, body fat, water, regardless. Uh, I just need to see the scale move. It's harder, it's a lot harder to run, you know, when there's no competition. Like during wrestling season, dude, we're in a hallway and I either got 30 people in front of me or 30 people behind me. And if they're in front of me, I'm gonna hunt them down. And if they're behind me, I'm gonna keep going until I'm dusting them and getting back around. But here, it's just me and a treadmill. It's a lot different. But uh, we'll go back, check in on the physique. Definitely making progress though, like regardless. I was very happy that we were able to get the 40s on the uh, curls. Um, we'll start working those in every day. I feel a lot better on the tilapia than the pre-workout, I'm not gonna lie. And you'll notice these things as you cut weight and work out. You'll notice stuff like that. It's very, very obvious, especially when you only change the one variable. So. Yeah, let's go check it on the physique. All right, so day, I literally don't know if it's day 63 or 64, but regardless, the next day into progression of getting shredded. All right, get this shirt off. And this is what we're looking like. Now, I gotta throw this away. I feel like my arms are gonna be bigger than they ever, but I've never even tried curling 40s. But this is what we're looking like. You can see some abs coming through. Still got a lot of work to do and over time as we progressively overload the pull-ups and the chin up also that work at the chin up uh we will get better ab development and also of course when you get lean you get good abs but overall pretty solid we'll see what we weigh tomorrow i'm not too sure but we're very we're in very good shape uh for where i want to be considering where we came from super high body fat now we are still high in body fat but Nowhere near as high, but you can see triceps working, muscles in the back. That's what the back's looking like. Um, rear delts, I don't really know a good way to show rear delts, but maybe like this, like a cross section of the shoulder type deal. But rear delts are also growing, so you know, I really can't complain. Um, I think the key is going to be trying to keep growing a wider back because uh, I have a pretty wide waist. My hip stops like, like pull all the fat away. This is where my hip is. Pull all the fat because guys, eventually we'll be at a point where I won't have any belly, like body fat right here. And you'll actually be able to see all the uh, inner workings of my abdominals. But uh, right now, we're just chilling, looking good. The legs, I actually can't see them in the mirror. I don't know where I've got the camera set up, but this is quad one. You might be able to see the cap. The caps are still small. They're going to stay small uh, for a long, long time until we actively try to gain weight and muscle mass. But this is quad two. See a little bit of muscles moving around in there. You know the vibe. All right, guys, so dinner day 63 or 64, I don't even know at this point. Uh, we've got my rice, hot sauce, the eggs, the chicken, and only 2.5 ounces of tilapia. And honestly, I could kind of just live like this indefinitely. Like, I do not mind eating this every single day. It's good to me. Um, sugars from the fruits of the morning, enough protein and carbs for me to feel good and satiated throughout the day. And yeah, we're just gonna knock this down. If you're enjoying the series so far, please like the video, subscribe channel, and turn on post notifications. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Deuces.